What's up guys, it's your boy DS, and today I want to show you guys my Melee Lightning build. Now, I've actually been using this build pretty much since early on or the start of the game. I have wanted to go into the Wood Virtue since the beginning, so I already knew that this was going to kind of be something that I was working towards. So I've been using this for quite a while now, and with that being the case, I feel like I pretty much have everything down as far as what you want to be doing and how you want to be using this build. Now, I'm telling you right now, with this build, your lightning is going to be doing around the same amount of damage as your normal melee attacks. So, you're basically getting double damage off because of the lightning and how you've built your character if you use this build. When I tell you this shreds enemies, on top of it shredding enemies, you guys will stagger enemies from two to three hits because of the shock damage. So anytime you hit enemies with this lightning a couple of times, they will get staggered, which is just going to give you more time to do more damage. And then on top of that, it's going to reset whatever they were going to do. So now that we're done introducing it, I do want to get into the build and everything. And then I'm going to have some gameplay for you guys as well. So you can see how it kind of works. Looking at the stats that go into the build, you want to basically put everything into the wood virtue. Now there's a couple of reasons for this. Number one, since you are going to be doing a purely lightning or wood virtue build, you want to have your wood virtue as high as possible to give you the most damage, the most scaling, and the most stats for this element. On top of that, this is going to increase your HP more than the other ones, and it's going to increase your spirit defense more than the other ones, making you super tanky. So even though you are in melee range, you're going to be taking way less damage. Now, one of the biggest reasons why you want to put all your stats into this is the spell duration. For this build, you're going to be using a lot of spells. In fact, all four of the spells you're going to be using are spells with durations. So, this being as high as possible is going to help you out a lot when it comes to this build. Now, as you guys see, I do have one point into the Earth Virtue, and that's because one of the spells we use, you have to have that level 2, but this is just going to help the build a ton. So, you want to put one point into Earth Virtue, and then put everything else into the Wood Virtue, and that is going to be how your build goes. Now, looking at the weapon, we are going to be using the Jade Green Staff, and the reason why is because, number one, this set as a whole is just really good, but number two, the scaling for this weapon is really great when it comes to Wood Virtue. This is one of the highest scaling weapons for that Virtue, so this is going to be something that you want to run. Now, you guys don't have to run this. If you guys have a sword or some other weapon that scales really well with wood, that's okay, too. All you want to do is have a weapon that scales really well with the wood virtue. Now, like I said, I do also have this staff on because I am using the set bonus of the Tianzu, but you guys don't have to do that if you want, or if you do want to do that, you can easily put the staff in your offhand, so you still have the passive bonus, but you don't have to use the staff. Looking at the passives on the weapon, you'll see I have lightning damage percent, I have spell duration percent, and then I have lightning attack power base. These three are going to be very beneficial to this build because it's going to basically give you raw increases across the board. Looking at the hat, it's the Tianzu hat, as you guys see right there. And the passives on this are also going to be lightning damage percent, wood face spell, spirit consumption. Now, the reason why this one is going to be such a big part of this build as well is you're pretty much going to be spamming your spells whenever you can as far as keeping all of your buffs active. This is going to allow you to basically be getting all of your bonuses non-stop. And then you see we have HP and then lightning attack power. If you look at the chest piece, it's going to be the exact same passives. Lightning damage percent, wood face spell, spirit consumption decrease, HP, and then lightning attack power. The same thing is going to be on the bracers, and it's also going to be on the pants. Looking at the two accessories I have on right now, now keep in mind you can't change the passives on accessories, so you kind of got to work with what you got. As you guys see right here, this is a four star one, and I have lightning attack power, which is nice. The metal face spell spirit consumption, I don't, I'm not going to use, but I mean, it's still cool, whatever. And then you have HP on here, which is nice as well. Now, as far as the range spirit damage, the only thing that'll proc this is whenever you use the fireballs from the staff, but we're not going to use that too much in this build, but it's whatever. Moving on to the second accessory, you'll see we have HP up, which is nice. Then the water phase is not going to matter. The stone resistance is kind of whatever, but the martial arts damage is really good because we do want to use our martial arts and then positive effect damage duration this is a very big one as well because all the buffs we are putting on ourselves are technically positive effects so this is going to be really nice for the build now like i said we are running the tianzu passive set which is going to number one give us increased hp which is just nice the wizardry spell spirit consumption 
so basically anytime we use spells it's going to cost less spirit to use them and like i said we are going to be using our spells quite a lot so that's going to be really good the third one power gain upon wizardry spell hitting an enemy basically if you hit an enemy with a spell it's going to give you a boost in damage now i'm pretty sure this doesn't proc with your lightning but still nice to have sure now the fourth one staff spirit damage this is going to be so good because we are using a staff for the main weapon of the build now if you guys are not using this full set or you're not using the staff maybe these passives aren't that beneficial to you but as far as the build that i have going on right now a lot of these passives are really really good now i want to talk about the spells the first spell i want to talk about and this is pretty much going to be your bread and butter is lightning weapon for a certain period of time enchant your current melee weapon with lightning this is going to be one of the easier ways for you guys to get lightning on your weapon and be dishing out tons of damage now i know that it costs seven morale but basically for the first half of stages you're not going to be able to use it which is perfectly fine the first half of stages are super easy but the second half of stages you will be able to use it and that's whenever you're going to be fighting the harder enemies and the bosses that's whenever this is going to kick in and this is going to start dealing tons of damage to all those enemies the next spell i want to talk about is inner breath this is going to be a very big game changer for your build because it increases the accumulation of divine beast gauge for a certain period of time if you guys looked at all the passives you'll notice we don't have any passives that give increased divine beast gauge well that's because we have this spell so we could pop this spell and then we'll be able to whenever we hit enemies or attack enemies we will get increased divine beast gauge this is going to allow us to get our divine beast so much easier and so much more often and i'll get into why that's so good in a little bit moving on to the third spell absorb vitality this is going to be so good for you as well because you literally pop it and then you know if you take a little bit of damage you can heal the damage back but it works so well with this build because of a multitude of reasons number one like i said we're building all wood virtue so our characters are going to be tanky so whenever we take damage we're going to be taking only a little bit of damage and with this you could heal it back up and number two whenever you pop this our spell duration is going to last much longer and it's going to just allow us to heal non-stop in all the battles we're fighting not to mention whenever you do a fatal strike on an enemy or a boss this heals back ridiculous amounts of hp so anytime you stagger an enemy or a boss pop this real quick and then do your fatal strike and you're going to heal back a ton the last spell i want to talk about is enhanced defense this is why you have one point into the earth virtue and this is going to be very good because our character is already super tanky and this is going to allow us to be even tankier not to mention the main reason we're using this is that once you use it you cannot be staggered and with your lightning on your weapon you're going to basically be destroying enemies before they can do any real damage to you because number one you're going to be healing Number two, you're going to be tanky and can't be staggered. And number three, you're going to be dishing out tons of damage with your lightning. Now that we're done talking about the spells, I do want to talk about the Divine Beast. The current one we're going to be using is the Chi Long. I'm not entirely sure if that's how you say it, but it's on the screen. And this Divine Beast is going to give us a couple of different things that are going to be so good for this build. Number one, looking at the passives, the Wood Face Spell Spirit Consumption is going to be decreased. So all the spells that we're using in the Wood Virtue is going to cost less spirit. Number two, it gives us more HP, making us tankier. And then number three, whenever we restore HP, we get more HP than we would have without this on. And once again, you are going to be using that spell a lot. Now, you can summon the Divine Beast, or you can do the Divine Beast Resonance. For this build, you want to use the Divine Beast Resonance every single time and the reason why is because number one this applies lightning to your weapon that's going to allow you to get off the lightning damage and be doing tons of damage non-stop now keep in mind the buff that this divine beast gives you is going to last way longer than your spell so you probably want to pop this during a boss or a really strong enemy so that you have a lot of time to work with while using this if it's a couple of small enemies you could probably just pop your spell and get lightning on your weapon that way Another thing that this is going to be doing for you, it increases the spirit gain from all attacks and decreases HP damage taken. So, not only are we getting lightning on our weapon for a long duration, we are now also going to be getting increased spirit, allowing us to use all of our spells, our martial arts, and everything like that a lot more. And we're also going to be taking less damage, which makes the entire build so much more value. Keep in mind, you do have a spell that allows you to get this faster, so it all comes together. Now that we're done talking about the build and everything like that, I do want to get into some gameplay so that you guys can see exactly how the build works and how good it is.
so as you guys see right there that is the gameplay overall like i said the build just works really fluid with itself i feel like the build is very cohesive and everything kind of works in tandem with each other to make this build as great as it is but anyway that's going to be it for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys in the comment section below that being said i will see you guys next time peace